What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. We're going to learn Bruce Springsteen's Born to Run. A lot of requests for it. I think you're going to dig it. If there's another Bruce Springsteen song you'd like to see me teach or whatever one you want next, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I also appreciate you supporting me here at my channel, Marty Music, and sharing, liking, all that stuff. It's just greatly appreciated. So thanks so much. But enough of that. Let's zoom in and break this classic down. Here we go. All right, we're just going to go for this part by part. So let's start with the beginning. We're going to take an E major chord. Then we're going to go to an A major chord. And then a B. And we could call this a B sus4. We basically take a B power chord. So second fret, fourth fret, fourth fret. But you can let the open B and high E ring out. So that's the main, kind of the main theme of the song. And so a rhythm, down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, up, down, up. There's a little line that goes over that, which would be great for two guitar players. And you can start with the open E chord, and then hit the A string, and then from that E chord, put your pinky down on the uh, second fret of the G, so check it out. Then that pinky comes off and you hit the G string, and that index is still on the first fret, like the E major chord. See, it's there. So the, from there. And then where your middle finger is on that E major chord, we're going to slide that up to the fourth fret of the A string. So. Then get our index finger to the second fret of the D. And then we just go two, four. And you put that all together, and it goes over the chords I just taught you. Then we go into the verse, which is the first thing I taught you. part a major then a e major over g sharp so this next chord if it's hard for you you can play just an e major chord but what we're doing is we're we're getting a, an inversion of e major so we get this pretty walk down bass line but if you can't play this inverted chord which i'm going to show you right now if you can't play it you can substitute it for a regular old e major so here's that next section, A major, then the E over G sharp, which can be regular E major if you want, but we get a pretty bass note here. Fourth fret with our middle finger on the E string. And then I just have to reach back to the second fret of the D string. And because I'm reaching, my middle finger is muting that A string, really without trying. But then now my ring finger is going to go to the fourth fret of the G. Tate Matthews uses this a lot. Now, the E Street Band's a big band, so I don't even know if you know a guitar player is actually playing this voicing because the bass player is doing that. So anyway, here it is though. A major, then this E over G sharp. 
Then an F sharp minor bar chord. So we bar the second fret and make the E minor looking shape. Then back up to that inverted E chord. Okay, so from that part. F sharp minor back up to E over G sharp. Then an E chord. One, the downbeat is a rest. Da, 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 rest. And then it's kind of a jazz chord. It's really more what the keyboard player is playing, but it sounds really great and it's easy. Uh, we could call it D over E is one way to call it. It's got other fancy names, but D over E is the easiest way to call it or the easiest thing to call it. And we're just barring the seventh fret across, starting on the A string, but we want the open E in there. Very cool sounding. So that section. G over F sharp, F sharp minor, E over G sharp, E major, rest. Sorry, I was getting tongue tied there with naming it. So let's take it from the top. Here we go. again, but instead of that jazz chord, it goes E chord to C sharp minor, which is the relative minor of E major. We're barring the fourth fret and making an A minor looking shape. So fourth fret barred, A minor shape. That is a C sharp note. With that shape, it becomes C sharp minor. And then with A's like us, B we were born to roll. So let me go over that second section really slow for you. A major, E over G sharp, F sharp minor, back to E over G sharp, and then an E chord, then the jazz thing, seventh frets, then the whole thing again, right up to the E chord. So A major again, E over G sharp, F sharp minor, E over G sharp again, but now E major, C sharp minor, A, B, then the top. Okay, let's, uh, and don't forget. So that is really the bulk of the song. If you wanted to have a sing-along with friends, that's really it. But the band, you know, it's a big band with really cool arrangements, saxophone, multiple guitars, keyboards, you know, the boss, of course, obviously, obviously. Um, but there is this kind of crazy B uh, bridge section. I'm going to teach it to you right now. But everything up to this point will get you through, like, you know, the bulk of the song. But now we're going to go to the more band arrangement stuff. I'm just gonna teach it to you because I'm here, I'm roll, rolling tape, and we'll just do it. So here's what happens. Sax, sexy phone solo, 
over the E, A, and B. So, a chord, sax soloing, saxophone. Sexy, sexy phone, sexy, sexy phone. A major, sexy phone, B. Then we just move it up a whole step and get our middle finger down for that C sharp minor chord that's already been in the song. So, da, 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 da. And then down a whole step to that B chord. So no new chords, just a different thing. So it's like a quick B to E major. So check it out. Sexy phone solo, sexy phone solo. Sexy, sexy phone, sexy, sexy phone. Do -do 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 Here we go. A major. B major, whole step, C sharp minor, B, E, D, D, D. Now it's a new section, which kind of feels like a totally different thing now. But it goes to D first. The bass is still playing E, though. Kind of like what we did here. It's that jazz chord, but we're doing a little differently because of where we're going. So now we have the bridge section. So C sharp the sax, sax solo ends with the C sharp minor B E D now da, 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 da. so we're gonna go through some chords but each chord does the same thing which is called the suspended fourth with the D chord it's adding your pinky to the third fret of the high E so we go on off on off then we're gonna play it play the same thing on a G chord. So we're gonna play it like this, ring finger, middle finger, pinky. So we can do that with our index finger on the first fret of the B. So from the sax end of the sax solo is C sharp minor. B, E, D, new thing, it's a new thing, it's exciting. Very exciting. So, so we do it with. <laughs> sorry, I'm gonna keep that in there. Uh, I'm just having fun. So we do the thing with the sus four with the D, then we do the sus four with the G, then we do sus four with the A. So we play an A major chord and we add our pinky to the third fret of the B string with the A chord. So now we did it with A, and then finally we do it with C. So if you form your regular C chord, we're gonna add our pinky to the A string third fret. Then the whole thing starts over again. D thing with the new thing, then the G thing. It's a G thing, then we go to A. A thing, A thing, then C. C thing, C. Thing, then it starts over D thing, D thing, then the G thing, it's the G thing, then the A, A thing, it's the A thing, then the C thing, and so after we've done that twice, then it does it, it kicks, the band kicks it up, Max on the drums, kicks it up a notch, they, they change gears, and they start rocking it out, and they do it over F. And the easiest way to do it over F is you have an F bar chord right here, and you can just. I just, I'm still, it's still over F, but I'm just. I'm just adding that ring finger across the third fret of the. But while holding the F, like so. And now we're doing it as an F thing, then the C. And the C's a little bit longer than what we did earlier. But so this is right before the dun 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 dun. So it's the F kind of thing. F thing, F thing, C. And the, there's an electric guitar going. And then the F thing again. And then a climb up, climb down that I'm gonna show you in a second, but we should go back um, to the end of the sax solo, just so you kind of can pick up where we're at. So sax solo, actually, one time through with the E to A and B. So sax, 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 
tax and tax A, B, then up to C sharp minor B, E, D, now the D chord is D chord, G chord, G chord, then A Starts over to D, then the G, then the A, then the C. Now we do it for F, what? Then C, then the F again. Then, we, then we've got this thing. So I'm just doing it with single notes. Obviously, a whole band is playing all these different parts, but here's what it is. We just start on the second fret of the low E string, and we're going to climb it up to the sixth fret. So two, three, four, five, six. Just all you can do with one finger on the E string. Two, three, four, five, six, two. And then it goes back to that two. Then it's going to hop up to the B, the seventh fret. So check it out. Two, three, four, five, six, two, seven. And then all we're gonna do is go all the way down as far as we can go. We run out of room and we are gonna end up at the sixth fret of the A string eventually. So check it out. Here's that climb up, actually from the F. And then it goes right into D, 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 D. Kind of like a Mission Impossible rhythm. D, 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 D. It keeps going, but that's the rhythm. Do, 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 Three, two, one, oh. Then we're going to go to six on the A string. Six, five, four, three, 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 one, two. Sorry. Three, 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 two. Very weird. Two, three, four, five, six, two, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, oh, six, five, four, three, 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 two. And if you have to loop that part to play that along with me, I recommend that. Um, it's much better in a full band. It'd be interesting to see someone do that playing solo at a bar. But uh, anyway, let's take it from the sax solo. Chord. 
keyboard, jazz, A, and E over G sharp, F sharp minor, back to the E over G sharp, then the E chord, C sharp minor, A, B, E, C sharp minor, So you can see just there on the ending, it just, it does a little tag. It's almost like a blues turnaround. Um, goes to E, right back to the C sharp minor. A, B, E, C sharp minor again. You know, it's a kind of a classic little uh, musical arrangement concept there. So hope you had fun with it. And uh, let me know in the comments other songs you'd like to learn. Thanks again. All right, there was the lesson. The boss. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know the next lesson you'd like to see me teach. You know, I want to get back to you guys. You can leave it in the comments down there. Also, thanks so much for supporting me at my thing here at Marty Music. I really appreciate your continued support and following me over uh, to this uh, thing of mine. So thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you in a new lesson uh, real soon. Take care.